Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can import and export your entire Learn Dash platform and perhaps move it to a different WordPress platform or something like Learn Dash Cloud. So, version 4.3 of Learn Dash was recently released and that had import and export features natively within it. So, to access these, what we do is we head to the dashboard. And then under Learn Dash LMS, Settings, Advanced, we have this Import Export feature here. So I'm just going to click on that. And we have two options here. Uh, we can import on this side, uh, export on this side, sorry, and then import on this side. What I'm going to do first is create an export of my platform and then I'm going to wipe it and then import it back in again. So firstly, you can choose what you want to export and you can either choose the simplest option of everything um, or you can select what you want. So just to see what you can include in the export, what I'm going to do is uh, select this item here and see what we can export or include in our export file. So we can include courses, lessons, topics, quizzes, questions, things that you'd expect as part of your LearnDash platform to be packaged up. And in each case, we can export both the posts, which are the bits of content, as well as the settings within them. We've got things like transactions, groups, essays, certificates, challenge exams, coupons. And interestingly, we've also got users so the export file can actually package up user profiles and their progress on courses, which is really, really great because you could export your whole platform to somewhere else and take all your users with you, which in the past has been really, really difficult to do. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I just want to choose everything. I'm going to package up my entire platform and choose export. What will happen is this will run behind the scenes. So it says export is in the processing queue. Please reload this page to see the export status. So as it's packaging up quite a lot of data, this might take a while. And depending on the size of your Learn Dash platform, this could be you know, minutes or potentially hours or, or longer. You know, it it's, um, depends on how many courses and topics and lessons and quizzes and things you've got in there, as well as how many users. My demo site here doesn't actually have that much, so hopefully this should be done quite soon, and it is. So we've got an export archive that's been created, and I'm just going to download that. And what we'll find is that that's a zip file. Let's just go to that, and I'll uh, just cut that and move it out of here onto the desktop. And we won't go too much into detail here, but what I'm going to do is, is have a poke around this, uh, this export file. And I can see that we have lots of these .ld files and they're things like post out lesson, post out group, post out exam. So what we have here is a list of all of our bits of, of content here uh, made into these files. And yeah, it's just some sort of serialized data here that um, contains the information that it needs to rebuild these items. But it's also got this media folder, which has some of the images that relate to the course. So it's packaged those up too. So we've created our export file. Uh, what I'm going to do is pause this video now and wipe the, uh, the platform. And uh, when I come on again, we'll re-import it. So what I've done now is wipe my Lendash platform. So what we can see here is if I go to courses and lessons and topics, it's like we're on a brand new version of Lendash with nothing on there. And what I'm going to do now is import the, the package that I just exported and we're back to where we left off. So like we did before, we'll head to settings, advanced, and then import and export. 
And what I'm going to do is browse for the export file and then click on import. And this will upload. And similar to when it was exporting, this sort of runs behind the scenes. So you can continue to administer your WordPress and LearnDash platform. And this will be unpackaging things behind the scenes and eventually will uh, have uh, recreated your platform. So this is just still uh, processing at the moment. I'm not sure how long this will take. But when it's done, we'll see that the import has uh, been completed. So what it's doing behind the scenes is rebuilding all of these courses and lessons. And if I had users in here, it would uh, re-import all of those as well. And that message disappeared, which I think means that everything has come back again. So if I head to courses, we've got them all back again. Lessons, they're all there. And we should find that the content within each of these is all back to where it was. So what we've done there is exported our LearnDash platform into a package, taken it somewhere else, and then re-imported it. And we've got our LearnDash platform moved from one place to another. So it's a really useful tool and something that in the past has been really difficult and complex to do. And we're really glad LearnDash have added this feature because we'll find it really useful. We hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.